know. I'm James Woodkin, and my group uh, worked on a remote pressure monitoring system. What we do is we monitor the pressure of several um, nitrogen generation tanks, nitrogen generators, and the, the tanks to store the nitrogen. Um, this is used for lab equipment, and if there's any failures, um, our sensors can detect them. The staff can log in at any time on our website we've created and um, retrieve the pressures and also set up alerts so they're alerted with text messages, etc. So overall, it, it prevents, uh, helps prevent damage to the lab equipment by letting someone respond before the damage happens. All right, so um, basically you can set the, the threshold ranges for each of the pressures we're monitoring. And so we're going to set one out of range so it'll generate a text alert. So I'm just going to change the minimum pressure to 100 for this uh, nitrogen one tank. And let me save that setting. OK. And so it checks uh, every couple minutes. And within a couple minutes, it's going to find that that pressure is no longer in range, and it's going to send him a text alert on this home. Okay, so basically what happens for the text alert, it will show which tank is below the threshold or above the threshold. It'll, and if there's more than one, it'll say that tank one is below threshold, tank two is below threshold. Then it'll give you the current values of each individual tank at the time that it, this alert came in. After the alert is sent, the, it will wait 15 minutes unless someone goes in and manually resets before it sends another alert.